Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Laurel Park here on Sunday. It is November the 29th, 2015. Going to look at today's ninth race. Before I get on to that, remember, please follow me on Twitter at the race 16 picks for more selections for the whole card from Laurel Park and other race courses around the world. Um, Going to look at the ninth race. What is uh, allowance optional claim reimbursed burst fifty thousand dollars for three rolls and upwards, which never won four races, the main claim starter, or which never won, uh, you know, all those other stuff. You don't really care. Uh, we have a field of nine horses traveling about one mile and one sixteenth. It's not exactly one mile sixteenth. It's about <laughs> whenever they start from just after the finish line and finish at the regular finish line. And it's very close to the first turn, so post vision is key. Uh, <laughs> uh, I looked at this race an awful lot. The longest race, uh, out of all the races I looked at today, it's probably the one that was the most puzzling. You have some really good horses here, and it should be a stakes race, this uh, race. But uh, I'm going to go with the three horse here, Ground Transport, 6-1, like the price here, um, with Trevor McCarthy for Michael Stidham. Um, this horse is a first time gelding also. Uh, got gelded on the 30th of September of this year. Um, hasn't started since the 19th of September of this year. Parks Racing, mile 16th in Byron, stakes for 150 grand. Finished eighth by 36 and three quarter lengths. Um, just really didn't didn't do anything. Um, and then start before that was in the Schaefer Memorial Stakes at Indiana Grand Mile 70 yards, July the 18th. Finished the eighth by 13 three quarter lengths. Again, just did nothing. Um, um, and then start before that was Penn National Mile 16th in one of those hundred thousand dollar stakes races they have. <coughs> um, finished eighth again by 20 and a half lengths. His last few races, last three have been horrible. Hopefully the gelded uh, thing will really help this horse here. Um, his last decent race was actually at uh, Indiana last season on uh, the uh, October the 4th in the Schaefer Memorial. Your second by nose had a really nice run that day. Um, and his last win came in the Dross Monster because mile quarter at Belmont Park back in May 2014. Where he won by head that day. Um, he really dug into a really nice victor, uh, victory that day. Has one win over this course. That was back in 2014, March 22nd to be exact, 2014. And the uh, Johnson Memorial Stakes for 100 grand. Uh, won by three uh, and a quarter lengths. He got a career best 102 buyer speed figure that day. Um, he just saved ground and was really driving that day. A very nice victory. If you watched the replay, this horse really did well. Um, um, six to one, like the price. Uh, other horses I was really looking at in this race. Um, as a second selection, I probably would go with number one, Golden Glint, at five to two. Uh, he's a really nice horse here, um, stepping up in somewhat class, um, a little bit of a step in class on this one. Um, I think he should really do well. Likes Laura a lot, eight and four over this course. All four, all starts have come into money. He hasn't finished out of the money. Out of uh, he is either finished second or or first at Laurel Park, so that's really nice. Um, another horse I was really looking at, which really kept going back to as a third selection, I would probably go with number seven, Lee Dieres. Uh, this David Jacobson owned horse, just bought this horse probably as a private purchase last time out after his October 30th start at Keeneland. Um, in the marathon stakes, um, he finished 10th by 28 and a quarter lengths. Um, it's going to be the shortest distance this horse has run in America. Um, all the shortest distance before that was a mile and eighth. Uh, before that, this horse was running in uh, South America and Peru. But I think maybe the distance change really helps this horse. Trainer change also. Uh, Dave Jacobson might really like him when he buys these horses from like California. These horses that are towards the end of the career and really resurrects them here in New York or something like that. And a fourth selection, I'd probably go with Ever Rider. Really like this horse, 12 to 1. I think the distance might be a tad bit too short, but for a fourth place finish, I really think this horse could really come up. <coughs> I might uh, do a 10 cent super with all those horses I just said. Um, so to um, recap my bets for race number 9 from Little Park, my top selection here is going to be the three horse. Good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at the race 16th picks for more selections. Good luck, everybody.